तो हम यहाँ से जाके सीधे सीधे संसद का घराव करेंगे ये कोई प्रदेश बचेगा नहीं जो आंदोलन नहीं होगा हाय नाउ वी नो दैट यू माइट हैव हर्ड द टर्म फार्म बिल्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स एवरीवेयर यू माइट हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूज रिगार्डिंग द सेम एंड फेल्ड भारत भर न्यूज एज वेल इन द नेम ऑफ सेविंग फार्मर्स बट देर इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी सीरियस एंड जेनविन कंसर्न अराउंड द फार्मर्स बिल विच नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू टॉक अबाउट so we thought let us come up with the next episode covering why farm bill 2020 has become hot topic in india covering the complete story of what is farm bill and what changes are necessary now if you are the one who already supports a certain political party and is already influenced with predetermined decisions then this episode is not for you and please skip this episode if you've come under this category Now in the next few minutes we will be covering how new farm bill 2020 has some significant advantages and some genuine concerns in simple language so that you can understand it in the far more better way which other media are not doing Let us first start with understanding what is farm bill 2020 the farmers empowerment and protection agreement on price assurance and farm services bill 2020 in short the farmers bill 2020 which helps and procures farmers to sell their produce across the country with commerce and marketplace and can have contract with any commerce companies to sell their produce there is no restriction to sell their produce in the apmc markets and why is this brought in simple words to stop the middlemen who purchase the farmers produce at one fixed rate which is way too less most of the time and then they sell it with their margins to the end consumer and the real profits are not actually reaching the farmer how does this happen apmc agents who are ready in the markets have their own terms where they all agree that they will not bid more than some fixed amount and then the farmer is forced to sell his produce under these circumstances now what the government has bought a solution to this is henceforth there will be no apmc markets where farmers will go and sell their produce they can directly sell it to the agri business firms and to the companies directly and get the payments from them there is no restriction of where and which state they can sell it as they can sell their produce even outside other states but there is no doubt that these reforms will positively benefit both farmers and consumers just like it happened when india opened up airlines telecom and other sectors for the private players this not only opens the closed sector for big corporations but also creates immense opportunities for entrepreneurs which in turn generates employment this is not to say that these agri reform bills do not need any scrutiny and this in fact is what farmers should be really worried about because those politicians who have a duty to hold the government accountable and improve on the reforms brought for the discussion in the parliament are behaving in the most irresponsible way in all this noise the signal is getting lost now where is the real problem situated in this farm bill So it first starts with contract farming. Now what is contract farming? A single firm can contract with tens of thousands of farmers and consolidate their farms in one go. That solves India's biggest policy challenge. Let us now turn to the genuine concerns around the agri reforms which are missing from the narrative. First, under the amended ECA The stock limit may be reimposed if there is a 100% increase in retail price of horticulture produce and a 50% increase in retail price of non-perishable agricultural food items. This sort of production for the consumer at the expense of the farmer stands to undo the whole reform itself. Basically, if the price of say onion increases from rupees 30 rupees per kg to 60 rupees per kg 100% increase in one year then stocking limits will be back the ceiling for reimposition would have certainly been higher given that such kinds of price fluctuation isn't uncommon for perishables especially 
over a period of one year. And whenever there is price rise, there will be pressure on the government to do something. This will hurt the farmer. Second, in the contract farming bill, the arrangement provides for a three-level dispute settlement mechanism. The Consolation Board, Subdivisional Magistrate and Appellate Authority. Now, this sounds good on paper, but we need to see how it plays out in the implementation phase. There have been cases in the past in states which allow contract farming where farmers sold their produce in the market instead of selling it to the business they had signed contracts with because they were getting a higher price in the market. Third, individual farmers contracting with big companies, processors, etc. isn't a great way to secure their interest. The government both at the center and the state level must focus on creating more and more farmer-producer organizations and strengthening them as an institution so that they are able to bargain from a position of strength. So now, what can we do for this as a citizen of this country? It is our responsibility to make this information reach as many people as possible and educate more people about what is the real deal here. Remember, we had thought the same when computers were brought to this country that there will be huge unemployment in this country and people will lose jobs. But that is not yet the case even after a decade. When the competition rises in any market, then of course there will be the right decisions taken by the companies and it is never possible that someone will monopolize the market and if so, then the government obviously can interfere. With that being said, before we sign off, we would like to mention that educating people with what is required to farmers is must. So please do share this episode as much as possible to all your friends and relatives and let us create more awareness about the genuine advantages and problems at same time. And remember, if you don't know why, ask it on UniY. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a good one.